Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. I am joined here uh, by, uh, no offence, you know, mate, but a plague of idiots. Um, hello, guys, how are we doing? Hi. Good. Well, well, I'm doing very well, thank Excellent you. Excellent Now, who would like to tell us uh, a bit about uh, what you have to offer for us at the Fringe? Let's, talk, let's get Giorgio, because he's probably yeah. the most English. So. Yeah, Go for it, so the question was, uh, <laughs> what is the show that you have brought? To what the is the show? Yes. Whoa, whoa, that's a tough question. Is it? Yeah, it is. What is the show? It's a show. It's a uh, it's a clown show, mm -hmm. actually, because we all studied in a in a clown school, theater and clown school in mm -hmm. France, uh, called Philippe Gaulier, mm -hmm. and we all met there. And basically, this guy uh, thinks that he founded uh, great, uh, profound artistics, uh, but uh, we're not. Ah. <laughs> 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 So the joke's on you, Dennis. Yeah, the really joke's on me. <laughs> so, well, I, I'm, I'm, the, so I'm the Australian of the company. We've mm -hmm. got a, a Swiss girl and a, a Frenchman and an Italian and an Englishman. And Amazing. And, uh, and I, yeah, well, I, I, I gather what I believe within our budget to be the most <laughs> talented artists <laughs> in the world. But I, yeah, I'm sadly, sadly mistaken. Oh, well, you never know. You, yeah. do, you try your best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. And how have audiences been finding uh, your show so far? Yeah, um, really well uh, received. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we weren't sure what to expect coming to Edinburgh, but uh -huh. we, we're, we're getting good houses and the uh, word of mouth is starting to spread. Um, we worked with a, a director before we came to Edinburgh, a guy called Karma Crystal. He, he did the <coughs> Mighty Boosh mm -hmm. uh, that was here in previous years. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and that helped us uh, make the show a lot tighter. So we have a lot more of a tight show now. And yeah, d the run's going well so far. Amazing. Amazing. And what can audiences kind of expect? What kind of audience? No, what can audiences expect? What can they, what expect? Can they can expect? Yeah. Uh, have fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, I think they might come and be ready to be relaxed and have fun and laugh on silly stuff. Because yeah. it's really silly. I think the dream as well around uh, these idiots. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Amazing. Now, obviously, I, I, what a thing that I've noticed, I would say, from the Fringe this year is there does seem to be kind of an upshot in the number of clown shows that there are. Um, would you say that you think clowning is maybe taking a, a rise at the moment in kind of sort of commercial theatre almost? Yeah, I definitely think, especially in Edinburgh, because um, in t I think it was 2012, 2013, Dr. Brown won the uh, the Foster's Comedy Awards, and we all trained at the same place that he did. Right, really? And then Trigby Wakenshaw is now here, and he just won the Adelaide Best Comedy, yeah. and he trained at our school as well. Yeah. So there's this real upsurge in, in comedy. I think I think people are, um, I mean, there's, there's always talk of alternative comedy, mm -hmm. and I've been to quite a lot of alternative comedy nights, but it's still stand-up. Yeah. And so now I think people are looking for something a bit different yeah. as well. Um, I mean, there's still incredible stand-up, and I don't think that would ever disappear, because yeah. it's amazing. Um, but people are looking for something a little bit weirder, a little bit different. Um, and they have been for a while. I mean, yeah. Mighty Bush won it back in 1998, and theirs was really absurd. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think there's a real taste for clown, though. People are, I think people are a little bit less, you know, oh, the word clown used to be like a swear word uh -huh. uh, because of films like It and, uh, and people <laughs> related it to children's parties and, you know, um, uh, you know, sick kids in hospitals. But mm -hmm. no, now it's, uh, I mean, we don't wear any makeup or red noses or anything. We're just idiots. <laughs> yeah. And in terms of the, you know the show that you brought to the fringe, have you kind of premiered it anywhere else, or is this the first time uh, that we're going to see it? Um, this show is a. We started working together last last November. Mm -hmm. um, we graduated the school um, in that year and uh, decided we wanted to try try this stuff with real audiences. Mm -hmm. uh, so then we did a run in London for three weeks. And we took the show to Australia and did the uh, couple of the fringe festivals there for about two months, yeah. um, and then got the opportunity to come here to play the Gilded Balloon. Um, so yeah, so it, it's 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 adapted and changed a lot. Yeah. But it is the the seeds from yeah from we started in last November really. Amazing, fantastic. Now obviously you guys must work as a really kind of tight ensemble. Mm. How have you found kind of obviously living in close quarters and working together? Has there been any dramas or anything? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all joy. Yeah. Yeah. We, when there's close qu quarters and there's close quarters. Yeah. Uh, we've got six people in a very, very small flat. Right. I'm sandwiched every night between an Italian and a Frenchman. There we go. Um, which obviously was always a dream of uh -huh. mine. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, and the majority of the time it's absolutely fine. And then, you know, there's little little arguments about small things. But mm. the, the difference between between this work, because mm -hmm. we're all creating this together, 
and sort of being cast in another show? Is it because we all care so much about the show doing well? Is that anything gets solved? Any any little discrepancy, we we all go, well, okay, yeah, we we argue, but we actually care more about making this work than anything else. So I think we're really a really tight knit group. I love it to hear. I love it to hear. And how have you been finding kind of the Edinburgh Fringe so far? Because obviously it's kind of unlike anything else, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's been a bit crazy, or it's very unique no. because uh, we can see as we can see so many other shows from other performers, mm. and it's very inspiring as well for our work to yeah. see and to understand as well our show to see the work from other people, and as well, it's I, I feel the audience is really warm and. Uh, like you, we felt really welcome. Like people already, the start show, the show starts. They're already like shouting and laughing, and yeah. it's very unique as well to have this ambience in the. At least in France, it's not like that. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I think that's it. Obviously, <laughs> it is the the world's biggest arts festival, yeah. and you do get everyone coming here from kind of all backgrounds and walks yeah. of life. Yeah. And I think, like like you say, people are just up for something a bit different, which is great. And is that exactly what they can expect from your show? Oh yes, oh, yes. Yeah. something yeah. a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. And uh, who can tell us where and when uh, we can find the play Good Idea? Georgia. Go for it, Georgia. Seven <laughs> thirty mm-hmm. is when. <laughs> it's not where. <laughs> it's not where. <laughs> Could be a venue. You know. Gilded <laughs> balloon, mm-hmm. billiard room. Excellent. Every day. Every day. Until the thirtieth of August. Amazing. Thank you so so much, guys. It's been great to meet Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Uh, it's been another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers. <laughs>